States across the country have asked to pull their military members out of the border as the debate on the policy intensifies. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres checked in with the governor's office to see if that might happen with state troops from Tennessee. Matthew. Well, Vicki, several governors, primarily from blue states, are withdrawing National Guard troops from the border as a protest to the zero tolerance policy. Governor Bill Haslam's press secretary says he plans not to withdraw Tennessee troops. Since June 1st, three Tennessee National Guard crew members and one helicopter have been at the border in New Mexico to support missions. However, their job isn't to catch immigrants crossing illegally. Separating children from their parents have drawn criticism from both parties. The president has signed that executive order to keep families together during prosecution and deportation. This does not mean the end to the zero tolerance policy. He's also put blame on Congress on not taking action. Leaders from one of the largest immigrant advocate groups in Tennessee say stopping children being separated from their parents isn't enough. They continue to ask Congress members to help reverse the policy so-called zero tolerance policy of prosecuting families who are just trying to find a better life and seek safety in this country. We don't need to prosecute families. We don't need to send them to prison. Um, and that's the solution that we need is to, to reverse the zero tolerance policy. Meanwhile, Tennessee's House Democratic leader Craig Fitzhugh hand delivered a letter urging the governor to pull out troops until the policy is, quote, fixed. We'll have to wait and see if he'll change his mind. Vicki.